Hello, I'm Gordon Lang, editor of Cameralabs.com. I'd like to give you a brief video tour around the Canon PowerShot SX-1IS. Here it is, the SX-1IS. If you're getting a sense of deja vu, do not be alarmed. This camera does look a great deal like the PowerShot SX-10IS. And indeed, both models have a great deal in common. Both share the same 10 megapixel resolution. They share the same 20 times optical zoom range that takes you from an equivalent of 28 millimeter all the way to a whopping 560 millimeter. In practice, that'll take you from here all the way to here. Both cameras also have fully articulated screens that give you great compositional flexibility. Both cameras run on four AA batteries. Both have flash hot shoes that allow you to mount external speed light flash guns. Both cameras also have stereo microphones and a dedicated record button for recording video. To find out more about those features, check out our PowerShot SX10IS review and video tour at Cameralabs.com. So what's the difference between the SX1IS and the SX10IS? Well, it's pretty much down to the sensor technology. The SX1IS swaps the CCD in the SX10 for a CMOS model and that gives it two major advantages. The first is that it can now shoot at an impressive 4 frames per second at the full resolution, as compared to 1.4 frames per second on the SX10IS. Here's how that sounds in practice. The second benefit of having a CMOS sensor and the SX1IS's headline feature is the ability to record full HD video in the 1080p format. And you're watching an example of that right now. I'm stood about two feet in front of the SX1IS and the picture you see and the sound you hear is exactly what's recorded by this camera. Now like Canon's EOS 5D Mark II, these videos are compressed using the H.264 compression system and then stored in a QuickTime movie wrapper. Here are some examples of how you might use this video mode in practice. This first sequence was taken with the SX1IS mounted on a tripod with its stabilisation deactivated and smoothly panning from left to right. And as you can see the picture is packed with lots of fine detail. The SX1IS also allows you to optically zoom the lens while you're filming here from an equivalent of 28mm all the way into the maximum 560mm. And it's very useful to be able to do this when you can start tightening on the action here and zoom out to reveal the bigger picture. It's a very effective technique to use with this camera. Here I'm using it again on a, well, less lubrious form of transport, capturing the full embarrassment of these two gentlemen riding their aqua trike before one of them decides to, well, get off and perhaps give me a piece of his mind. So time to move on to the next clip, I think. Here's the familiar steamship Earns Law from the Camera Labs galleries. And this is perhaps how you might use the SX1AS like a normal HD camcorder. This entire sequence is handheld and I've started with the camera zoomed in slightly as I begin to follow the action across. Now I do have stabilization enabled here so there could be some optical artifacts as I pan this from left to right. Now at this point I'm going to slowly zoom in on this gentleman towards the end of the boat and again this will demonstrate the full optical range and power of this camera. As you can see it allows you to get very very close. And the audio that you hear is again the audio that was captured at the time by the camera. Now if you're interested in seeing this clip in more detail you can head on over to cameralabs.com where we've got a link where you can download the original file so you can play it on your own computer and see the full 1080p resolution of the SX1IS's files. And finally this clip ends with the camera zoomed all the way out. Now with 560mm at your disposal you can get a half decent shot of the moon. Here I'm filming it with the camera fully zoomed in, stabilisation deactivated and the camera manually focused. But wait, there's a trick. The SX1IS also has a 2 times digital teleconverter. Now this will reduce the quality when you're shooting stills but it is possible to film video with no loss of quality at all. So here I am shooting the moon at an equivalent of 1120mm. HD movies and fast continuous shooting are the two main headline features of the SX1IS, but there are additional differences between this model and the SX10. The SX1IS is equipped with a 2.8 inch 16x9 widescreen monitor on the rear, and also a 16x9 shaped electronic viewfinder. Now both of these look great when you're composing or viewing images that have been taken in the 16x9 aspect ratio, but if you use the camera in 4x3, you will of course see black bars running down either side. 
That's not to say that Canon doesn't exploit the full screen real estate though when shooting in this aspect ratio. If you zoom out, you'll see that you can display four sets of thumbnails along the top by three. And when you take a closer look at a picture and zoom in, it will fill the screen and use all of that area. All the ports are still on the right hand side of the body, but behind this flap, alongside the USB port, you'll now find a mini HDMI port. This allows you to do high definition slideshows on HDTVs. Canon also supplies the SX1IS with this small infrared remote control. Handy for remote triggering the shutter for self timer shots, but also for navigating pictures during playback. Again, very handy when you've got the camera connected to your HDTV. The Canon PowerShot SX1AS is one of the most successful hybrid cameras to date. This single camera can capture high resolution 10 megapixel stills with fast 4 frames per second continuous shooting and also capture full HD 1080p high definition video. So if you're after one camera that offers both of those facilities then this model should certainly be very high on your shortlist. But that's not to say the SX1IS is perfect. There's a number of downsides to this camera and also a number of compelling reasons why you may prefer to go for the SX10IS instead. Also, if you're really into shooting video much more than stills, there's a number of reasons why you may prefer to go for an HD camcorder instead of this model. We've discussed all of these pros and cons in our full review of the SX1AS at Cameralabs.com. There you'll also find results at all sensitivities comparing this camera directly against the SX10 and a digital SLR, so you can see exactly how it compares. One of the major disadvantages of this camera though was that at the time we made this video, it was not available in North America. Now we hope that later on in 2009 Canon rectifies this issue because it's certainly a very powerful camera that a lot of people are going to want to buy. So hopefully if you're watching this video a few months after we made it, then this camera will now be available worldwide. Well, we'll keep our fingers crossed anyway. But in the meantime, if you want to find out much more about this camera, all of its features and exactly how it compares against other rival models, then head on over to our full review. As always, you'll find it at www.cameralabs.com.